Hey there, parents and caregivers. It's time to talk about one of the most important things for your little one's health and happiness, sleep. As a parent, you know that a well-rested baby is a happy baby. But getting your little one to sleep through the night can feel like an uphill battle. Don't worry, though. Today, we're going to dive into the world of sleep training and give you some tips and tricks to help your baby learn to self-soothe and sleep like a champ. First things first, let's bust a myth. Sleep training isn't about getting your baby to sleep through the night without waking up at all. In fact, no one, not even adults, sleeps through the night without waking up a few times. Newborns, especially, have super quick sleep cycles, which means they're more likely to wake up every hour or so. So, your goal with sleep training is to teach your baby how to fall back asleep on their own when they wake up in the middle of the night. Now, you might be wondering, when is the right time to start sleep training? Well, it all depends on your baby's development. Most babies are ready for sleep training between 4 and 6 months old. But if you use the wake and sleep method, which we'll talk about in a bit, you can start whenever you like. So, how do you teach a baby to self-soothe? It might seem impossible, but it's not. The key is to help your baby learn that they can fall asleep on their own, without relying on you to rock or nurse them to sleep every time. One gentle way to do this is with the wake and sleep method. Here's how it works, step 1, at bedtime, swathe your baby and turn on some white noise. Make it as loud as a shower. Swaddling and white noise are like magic when it comes to calming babies down and getting them ready for sleep. Step 2, feed and burp your swaddle baby, and consider giving them a pacifier if they'll take one. Once they're nice and full in content, they'll start to drift off to sleep in your arms. Step 3, when your baby is fast asleep, gently lay them down in their bassinet on their back. Step 4, here's the important part, right after you put your baby down, give them a little tickle on their neck or feet to wake them up just a tiny bit. You want their eyes to open for just a few seconds. Step 5, after a moment, your baby will close their eyes again and fall back asleep on their own. It might sound a little silly to wake a sleeping baby, but it works. Those few seconds of drowsy waking are the first steps to teaching your baby how to self-soothe and sleep through the night. If your baby starts to cry when you put them down, don't worry. Just turn up the white noise and give the bassinet a little jiggle. If they still won't settle, pick them up and soothe them back to sleep, then try the wake and sleep method again. Another great tool for teaching self-soothing is the Snoo Smart Sleeper. This high-tech bassinet mimics the rocking and soothing sounds of the womb, which can help your baby fall asleep and stay asleep. If your baby does wake up and fuss, the snoo will pause just long enough to give them a chance to settle on their own before increasing the level of soothing. It's like having a 24-7 baby whisperer right in your nursery. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.